Tony Kat, Tony siyempre sa sabi nila, time heal all the ones din. So move on na, medyo matagal na rin naman. Um, kumusta na yung relationship mo with yung dating mga kapamilya stars? Meron na bang healing process? Wala namang kailangan mag-heal kasi wala namang... I don't know. For me, uh, uh, mag-heal ka lang kapag nasaktang ka. Diba? Ako kasi parang hindi ako nagdadwell dun sa mga... Kasi I know the whole story. I know what really happened. So, parang hindi, hindi... I don't think healing is the right term. Parang, no, not... I, I, hindi healing. For me, it's not healing. It's just that you choose to move forward. Walang, walang healing. Pero meron bang mga nag-reach out Yeah. Oo. Meron naman ganyan. Eh kasi yun naman siguro. Wala naman kasi akong... If you notice, even before, I never responded. I never said anything against anybody. Yes. Even before. So wala naman akong sinabi. Kasi naniniwala ko, what comes out of your mouth will always come back to you. So, wala. So walang... I don't know. Hindi, hindi, I don't think healing is the right term. Because... Ang attitude ko is when something happens, I always move forward. I, I don't want to dwell on on yung mga ganun, yung mga negativity or anything that's damaging and this um, damaging or anything that's not healthy for my my soul. Parang ganyan. Huh? Move na. Move forward. Last na lang, paano daw ma-achieve yung yung tawag sa the unbothered queen? Ah, sa mga netiz yung mga netizens yung nagsabi nung nagtag doon sa akin. I didn't, I didn't uh, really claim that word. It's just that, but I liked it when they said it. May nagsabi sa akin ganun daw. Sa ko, ah, it's nice, it's fun. I guess you choose the people who can bother you. Just choose the people who will bother you. Choose the people na you will spend your time and attention to. If it's not healthy for you, if it's not healthy for your well-being, mental state, You just move forward. Na alam natin yun ng pandemic. You know, time is so valuable. Today, nandito tayo. Tomorrow is not promised. So let's choose to spend our time wisely in this day and age. No, de ba? Let's let's be mindful of where we we put our energy. Thank you. Okay. Ah, that's from Jude Lalin. Kung pano about the show na lang din, and then ah. Hi, magay. June, musta? Yes, June. Pato la ka nung hindi ka kasama ni Rufa nung ano? Sa all the awang, talo ko nga nung mga the jet setter from the airport. Wala ka sa all TV lunch, hindi ka kasama ni Rufa na hanap kita. Oh, talaga susha. Iba ka na talaga ngayon. Can I marry you? Tony, before you start on it, I'd like to congratulate you because you've been listening to me. You said that you didn't get into the world with the negative. It's true that you have to be able to do the blessings. Yeah, count the blessings. You have to be able to do the issues. You have to be able to do the issues. That's it. That's it. You're the one. You're the one. You're the one. Wow. So, mana yang grabe tagal JMB? Kaya, why not? Ado ba yun? Grabe naman. Alamin natin yung mga story nito. Welcome naman lahat. Pero yun nga about your show. Pero ako simula ng nakilala kita sa taping ng Campus Romance. Campus Romance. Maku, 1997. Actually, kung pabilangin mo yun, 25 years na ako sa industry. Pero, hindi kasi ang sabi nila, naalala ko nung nag-celebrate ako ng 10th year anniversary ko na nag-araneta ako. Yung sabi sa, dati sa ABS kasi, 10th year yun eh. Dapat daw bibilangin mo kung kailan ka nakilala. E, 2001 nga yung... Kung kailan ka talaga. E, 1997, talent pa lang naman ako, no? 
Yes, 25 years. 25 years in experience, 20 years as Tony Gonzaga. Kasi nung 1997, Tim Tim Gonzaga pa ako. Yes. Pero nung 2001, dun yung nakilala, ah, to, yung, yung pala yung Tony Gonzaga. Pero nung Tim Tim, no, 1997, Tim Tim Gonzaga ako. Pero yun nga, Tony, alam po hindi ka nang nilibago ng 40 sa Tony. Pero ang dami mga dating mga talents, mga production people, Yes, we opened. Uh, we opened our doors for for anyone who is willing to work with our program. Yeah, we opened it. Uh, and actually, hindi yun conscious effort na dapat dati dati kang tagaganito, dati kang nagwork dito, dati kang nagwork. Because when we interview people who will be part of our show. We always ask them, "What is your intention of joining us?" Because the intention will always determine the energy and the outcome that they will put in the project. So, yun gusto namin yung good energy, good vibes, masaya lang, and we're just here to serve our audience with stories that can hopefully encourage them, uplift them, give them a new perspective in life. So, pag yung kanilang energy and then yung pananaw nila sa buhay and work ethics nila ay aligned doon sa programa, yun, we absorb them. Pero wala namang conscious effort na kahit saan galing, kahit saan nag-work, kahit wala pang experience sa work for as long as they're willing to learn, willing to grow with us, willing to do what we, what we are called to do for the show, welcome naman sila. Yes. Hindi naman, kasi siguro dahil yung studio namin. Hindi ko siya mara. It, it's very, yeah, it's in Makati. So, it's very new. So, the feeling, the feeling is very new. The people are, yes, the same. But the setting, the environment, the the work culture that we have, the the camaraderie that we have, the bonding that we have, it's all something new for me. So it's not something that parang, uy, parang dati to ah. Hindi, walang ganung feeling. Kaya exciting kasi alam mo, bagong-bago pa siya. So, C4 ang uh, Yes. Uh, sa studio. Sa studio. Ako. <laughs> Sa studio lang. Hindi, pero ano naman, hindi siya yung talagang super, super boss. Actually, he allows all of us sa... Medyo sa grupo namin, medyo hindi masyado yung hierarchy eh. We try to work together as as a team. Ayaw ni Paul yung ako boss. Ako masusunod. Pag sinabi ko to, mag uh, ano. If, if you are part of our team, you will see our culture that we sit down with everyone and everyone's opinion is valid. Parang lahat kayo may bosses, pwede natin pakinggan. Kasi ang goal naman is to lift the show. It's it's for the program. It's not just for for a boss or for me. For, for me, hindi siya yung para sa akin lang yung programa. It's really what the show can give the audience. It's to serve its purpose. Kabila. Di ba pumunta kayo? Dito yung, yung Tony Talks. Tapos yung wall na yun, binutas namin, pinto. Tapos yung talyer na katabi, yun yung kinonvert. Nirerentahan yun. Nirerentahan yung lugar. Oo. Yes. Thank you. And good evening. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Hi. Thank you. Siguro, one of the best decisions that I have made in my life when it comes to being in the industry for almost two decades is that you know, I never gave up on myself. Even when everybody was giving up on me when I was starting, even if no one was believing in me when I was starting, even if everyone was turning their backs on me, I never gave up on myself, my dream, my faith. So I think that's the best decision that you can make. Not just for me, but maybe to anyone who's listening right now. For as long as you don't give up on yourself, 
you continue to move forward. You continue to pursue your dream. You continue to do what you're called to do. You continue. You will continue to to do the things that uh, makes your spirit and your soul alive. Yun siguro pinakamagandang decision na magagawa mo sa sarili mo. Yung hindi ka magigiba. Last question. Si Seba may payawad na po sa mag-showbiz? Wala. Tingin ko behind the scenes siya. Kasi kahit minsan nasasama namin siya sa mga commercial. Alam niya trabaho. Sinasabi sa kanya ng daddy niya na o oh, bata ka pa lang, nagtatrabaho pa na, ganyan. Parang ito yung value ng hard work na kapag may gusto ka sa buhay, kailangan mong pagtrabahuan. Yun ang ina-explain sa kanya. So alam niya minsan pag nakakasama namin siya sa work, it's because it's work. It's not for it's not being a celebrity. So, hindi niya alam pa yung concept ng celebrity. Kasi even before, when I was when I was still doing mga TV shows, and I was in the studio almost every day, hindi ko naman siya nasasabi. So, hindi niya alam yung environment ng trabaho ko. Ang alam lang niya, uh, mommy works, and she appears in, on TV sometimes, or in the big screen, or in my phone. Pero hindi niya alam yung konsepto ng artista. Alam niya yun yung trabaho. So, I don't think na medyo, hindi pa siya nagpapakita ng interest. I don't know kung saan sa mapupunta yung interest na right now kasi ang gusto niya mga cars, tapos gusto niya yung behind the scene, yung patulad sa daddy niya. Hindi pa talaga on cap. He's more on off cap. Hey, commercial siya, di ba? Yes, oo. Sa, sa yun, anong idea niya doon? Yung sinabi sa kanya ng daddy niya kasi minsan hindi pa magpapabili yung mga bata. Tapos sabihin ng daddy niya na, if you want to buy something, you have to work hard for it. So, yun, sabihin sa kanya, this is work. Sabi niya, you just have to do this. A4 hours lang naman ni pagbata. So, para naglalaro lang. Tapos yung mga acting naman niya, madali-dali lang. So, yun. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Bobby. Next is Thank you, Bobby. Morley. And then, Morley. Yolanda Castro, last question from... Salty Asis, may konting raffle lang daw po tayo. Asan? Asan? Asan yung mic? Walang mic. Walang mic. Yes, magandang hapon muna sa inyo. Yes! Hello, Tony. Ito na si Morley. Tony, tanong ko lang. Curious lang kasi ako dito sa Tony na napag-tricking at tuning at sa iba pa. Paano ang standards niyo? May standards ba kayo sa pagpili ng mga story na kung sino ang dapat mong kausapin? Ako, I always ask the producers, what is your intention for this story? Ano yung intention natin for the audience? If your intention is to give awareness to something, if your intention is to encourage them, to uplift them, your intention is to entertain them, then don't come and they decide. Kasi lahat ng episodes natin is intention-based. intention, intention based. So it's an intentional TV show. May mga intentions, di ba? So, hindi ka lang basta lumalabas sa TV na basta lang tayo mag-interview dito. Like yung sa kay Anthony Tabernas, just to give awareness, yung leukemia for kids, and there are other kids who are going through the same thing, katulad nung case study namin. Na it's just to give awareness na pag may nakita na kayong ganito, ganyan, maybe it's about time, pacheck nyo na yung mga anak nyo, ganyan. So, informative also in a way, and educational, because we also have our resident doctor, si Doc Willie on. He gives, um, oh, he gives, he, regular siya sa amin, he gives practical tips on, you know, how to save your life. Prevention is always better than cure. So, kapag may mga ganitong sinyalis na simptomas na, um, we had an episode about PICOS, uh, because a lot of women don't know that they're suffering from it, kaya ang daming hindi nagkakaanak these days. So, yun, may mga ganong episode kami to give awareness about health, mental health, well-being. So, yun. Yun ang mga... Yun ang concept. Sundot lang ako ng konti. Bilang isang uh, may bahay, anong suporta ang ibinibigay mo matapos maging uh, kabilang sa kabinete si Dere? Well, I'm, kahit ano bang gawin ni ng asawa ko, I, I will always be there to support him. No matter what it is that he's doing. Whether... At that, or here, or dito sa aspeto na to, career, personal, or kung ano mga aspeto ng buhay niya, I, I'm always here to support him. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Salamat. Thank, Thank you, Morley. Let's see, Roldan. 
Yes, well done. Yes, well done. Salve, and then may last na si Vix Alvacel. Miss Tony, yes. anong pang-abangan namin na pasabog? Ang boss. Tumagdura kong pasabog. Ba't naman pasabog? Google ang tanay. Ah, yun. Big story. Wala na. Hindi ko alam kung may pasabog. Basta ano lang kami, ha? We're just here to deliver stories that hopefully can inspire, encourage, and uplift our audience. Yun lagi ang goal namin. Kung pasabog man yung episode, no, it's, it's not our intention na magpasabog. Our intention is just to serve you with stories that can hopefully, you know, inspire you and encourage you in whatever it is that you're going through. And to make you feel na whatever it is na pinagdadaanan mo sa buhay mo, hindi ka nag-iisa dahil yung katulad ng guests namin, ganun din ang pinagdaanan nila, baka makarelate sila. So, I don't know kung pasabog, pero ano lang. How about something so, more? Kasi marami rin nakakagusto kay Sandro na, na may interview para mag- well, well, let's see. Pag okay yung schedule, why not? Uh, we're open. Kami naman we're open, not just with Sandro, but with anybody who's willing to share their story because all stories are valid. Kung mabibigyan ng chance na ano, may guest si Vice President, ano, Danny Robert. May guest ko na siya. Sa Tony Talks. Ah, sa Tony Talks. Oh yes. Yeah, I'm open to... I'm open to anybody. I'm open to anybody and... Well, I'm open to anybody. I can't say the question right now because she's not in front of me. I ask my questions when I'm in front of my guests because I feel their energy. It's not something na basta ka lang tanong ng tanong. I don't know if you notice and if ever mapansin niyo yung ibang mga episodes namin. Na I don't just base my questions on paper. I really ask questions that comes from my heart. So I can just say, ito ang gusto kong itanong, ito ang gusto kong itanong. I wait for that person to be right in front of me so I can feel their energy and then we can start the conversation. It's hard to just throw a question here right now because wala yung tao. Pinag-usapan nga yung pag-bad sa mga K-drama. Anong opinion mo dyan? Well, I've heard about it. But uh, I think there, the intention, it was taken out of context for me because I think that the intention is really to push and to support local uh, movie, teleseries, and to help our entertainment industry. I think that was the real intention of that. But because it was delivered in a different way, and ganun yung pagkakasabi, but ganun ang statement, so it was taken out of, parang iba yung naging perception. Kasi di ba kahit maganda yung intention ng sinasabi ng isang tao, depende yan sa nakikinig. And depende yan kung where you stand in your life. Di ba? If you are against a person, no matter what a person says, ang hahanapin mo mali. But if you know the person and you know the intention of the person and what they said, makukuha mo yung the good and what he said. But if you don't like the person, kung anong sabihin ng isang tao, it will never sound good to you. Kung kung panano, piso lang yung sahot ni Derek Paul sa bago niya posisyon? Well, I think he will have his own press run for that. I think he will have his own event where he can talk to the media also. So he can talk more about his role. In, in that uh, statement. Because it's easy for me to answer that, but I, hindi naman ako spokesperson ni Paul. But I want him to be the be the one to be able to answer that. Para at least, galing talaga sa panahin. Pero bilang one, ano opinion mo doon? Kasabi nila, baka makabuhano pa si Tony. Ay, lahat naman may opinions. Just, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Everyone's opinion are valid. So, let's just let them be and allow them to have their own opinion. Kailan yung balak sa dance? Mamaya. Okay ba yun? After nito. Agad-agad. Ang tapusin lang. Well, well, tinatry namin. So, if it's God's will, God's time, so, tingnan natin. In time. Pero mamaya. Mamaya yun. Makamaya-maya. Tapusin lang natin ito. Okay. 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 Okay.
Hindi pa nga siya ready eh. Kaya siguro hindi na tutuloy. Sabi niyo, siguro na-enjoy niya na siya yung baby ng both sides. Sa Soriano, tsaka sa Gonzaga. Na-enjoy niya na siya pa lang ang baby. Yes. Ang Christmas plan namin, wala pa kaming naisip na plano. But I think we will stay here because nga may Metro Manila Film Festival. Well, so, siguro ang Pasko ay sa Pilipinas talaga. Uh, walang plano dyan. Uh, I guess, yung sa Metro Manila Film Festival, it's, it's a yearly initiative of uh, pushing and encouraging our Uh, viewers to support local Filipino films para makatulong sa industriya kasi di ba utility na bumabangon yung local industry and entertainment industry especially when it comes to the movies. So sana yung mga kababayan natin ay makilaho this year sa pag-support sa entertainment industry dahil ang laking tulong sa mga manggagawa ng pelikulang Pilipino. Mm -hmm. Yes, from Bigs Anderson. Hi, yes. Um, ang tanong ko lang, kamusta pa trabaho si, si Mr. Manny Villar? Kamusta na boss si Mr. Manny Villar? At susunod ba sa'yo si Alice Gonzaga dito sa OTD? Actually, ang pinaka-boss namin sa OTD is si Paolo, si Sir Paolo Villar. Uh, I met Sir Manny in mga private gatherings, ganyan. And he's, if there's one thing that I truly admire about him is that he's so humble. It's the humility that he has. Uh, one of the most humble person that I have met in my life. Okay. Kaya siguro sobra niyang successful kasi sobra yung humility na meron siya. And susunod ba si Alex Gonzaga sa YouTube? Well, hindi, hindi ko masasabi. Hindi ko masasagot because Alex is her own person also. She also is a grown-up now. She makes her own decisions and Si Mami Bits between Mami Pinti and Alex. So it depends kung ano mapagdidesisyon namin. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.